Hi guys, I have another extensive study for you today. We're looking at gold and Dow Jones industrial average in 15 minute time frame. And this video is made because you made some excellent questions. Somebody wanted to know which is more volatile, gold or Dow Jones industrial average in the New York trading session. And somebody else was asking, what is the most volatile 15 minute period in the trading day when you're trading gold. So let's take a look at these questions. And if you like this kind of content, let us know in the comments section. And if you have further questions on the markets and data, please include those questions there because you never know, we might just create another video just because you ask a question. So let's go and take a look and thank you for your participation. Thanks for the subscriptions and likes, etc. That really helps us. First of all, please do remember that we don't provide any investment advice and all the material is made available for educational and marketing purposes only. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help. Thank you. So the questions from the audience were one, what is on average the most volatile 15 minute period on a trading day for gold? And two, which one is more volatile during the New York trading session, gold or Dow Jones CFD? So let's take a look. So let me introduce you to the data. The study period for gold was from August 2020 to June 2023 and for Dow Jones from January 2021 to June 2023. The data is from TradingView, so I was using all the data there was available in the 15 minute time frame and I made the analysis in R Studio and Excel. Here I have descriptive statistics for all the gold data that I have. So basically we know that the data period is from August 2020 onwards to the time of me uh, recording this and the num number of observations is there and the time of day is basically all the trading day from midnight to midnight. So we cover all of the data there is for that period. The average 15 minute range during this period is $2.25 and the maximum is as much as almost $29. But the average we should question a little bit basically because the skewness and kurtosis numbers are so high. And in case you don't know these concepts, let me introduce you to them. If you have a high skewness number, what does it mean? A skewness value of 3.56 or 4.13, as you will see, we have in these two data sets that I'm comparing, basically indicates that the data is highly skewed to the right. So it's positively skewed. This means we have a long tail of to the right. So the distribution extends to the, towards the right side, while the majority of data points are concentrated towards the left side. And in practical terms, a positive skewness suggests that there are few extremely high values that are pulling the distribution towards the right, while the majority of the data points are clustered towards the lower values. What does high kurtosis value mean? Positive kurtosis values suggest that the data has a more peaked and heavy tailed distribution than a normal distribution. This means that the data set may contain extreme values or outliers that contribute to the heavy tails and therefore also impact the average values. Here's the distribution of this data. So on the left hand side, we have the occurrences of each range and on the X axis here, we have starting from lower values to going to bigger values to the right, we have the range sizes. So let's see, for instance, we had 79 times in the data where the, the range, the 15 minute range was $6.8. And then later on, we had two occurrences where the 15 minute range was almost $25. So that's the way to read this uh, distribution chart. Here I have the descriptive statistics for the 
Euro, US overlap and the New York session. So the time of day is from 11 a.m. GMT to 9 p.m. GMT. And now the number of observations is obviously smaller as we are looking at a smaller portion of the trading day. The average 15 minutes range during this period is 2.68. So it's a little wider, a little bigger than in that other data set we, where we had all the data, all the ranges from uh, you know, midnight to midnight. And the maximum range is the same, 28.90. So the biggest moves take place in, the, in this pe time period. The skewness and kurtosis numbers are pretty high, 3.56 and 23.25 respectively. So this tells you that there are quite a few outliers that impact the average values. So as you can see, the average of 2.68 is much higher than the mode uh, that is the value that appears in the data the most. So the most moves are roughly the same length or width as, oh sorry, the, the most ranges are roughly the same size as in the other data. And here again, we can compare those, those numbers. The mean values, this is all the data here. The average, i.e. the mean is 2.25. And if we look at the time window where we have the European US overlap and the, the New York session, then the average is 2.68. So, and these are dollars obviously in gold. Uh, you can see that the mode values are the same, practically the same, so not much of a difference there. But if we look at the data here, then we can see that it's the New York session that has the most volatility. This is a slightly different chart. Here we have the average 15 minute volatilities for gold. And on the Y axis, we have dollars and on x-axis we have 15 minute timestamps so if you're interested in specific times and i'm sure you are um, the most volatile period starts around sort of an hour and 15 minutes before the u.s market opens before the new york starts trading and lasts to about two hours afterwards so that's the most volatile period this data doesn't concern or that this graph doesn't concern itself with the number of occurrences that we have for each move, size of the move. This just shows you all the moves put together. And if you're looking for the biggest moves in gold in 15 minute time frame, then you have to concentrate based on this data. You have to concentrate on the period close to the US Open or the New York Open. Okay, let's tackle the other question we had. Which one is more volatile during the New York session, gold or Dow Jones? And for to answer this question, we need to look at the same data, but now we have on Y axis, we have percentages. So this is gold mean 15 minute volatilities as percentage. Everything else is the same in the chart, but the Y axis is in percentages. And in this data, we can see that most moves, even in the US session, they are less than 0.25. None of them are above 0.3%. And there's quite a few moves that are less than 0.2. And in the next chart that I have, we have the same 15 minute volatilities as percentages for Dow Jones CFD. On the y-axis, again, obviously we have the percentages and on the x-axis we have the timestamps. And you can see that in the US session, sorry, the New York uh, trading session, we have moves that exceed 0.3%. Note that in gold, none of the moves exceeded 0.3%. So it seems that Dow Jones is slightly more volatile than gold during this highly highly traded the most probably the most liquid session in the trading world so if you want to concentrate on big moves finding big moves concentrate on dow jones 
and maybe on gold as well. You can have the both charts open. You can look for opportunities in both of these markets. And if you concentrate on the period that starts when the US market opens, and by the way, these timestamps here, they are UTC plus three. That happens to be my time frame. But you can easily, easily convert this to your time zone using any services in internet that you, you can find. So this is UTC plus three. This is the most, the biggest volatility here is during the first 15 minutes when the market opens, which should be expected really. Hey, thank you for watching again. It was real pleasure to have you here. And maybe if you like this content, you can share this with your friends and give us thumbs up and like the content, etc. So if you have any further questions, please let us know either in the comments section below or you can send us an email on support at teomarkets.com. I look forward to seeing you soon again. Take care, trade safe.